When you're working with Ghidra in a group, you can make use of the shared projects. And let me show you how that works. If you open up Ghidra, then what you will see is um, the project view. Um, click on File, New Project, and now select Shared Project. Click on Next and connect to our Ghidra server, which is available at ghidra.internet dash sicherheit.de using the default port and if you connect the first time you will be asked for username and password which have been provided to you. Now I'm logged in already and what I see is a list of repositories that have been created. Let's use the testing repository. If you open this for the first time or if you open a project for the first time, a shared project, then what basically happens is a local copy of the project will be generated. So this only needs to be done once. Once this is done, you will see the contents of the repository. In this case, there's only one file, which is called helloworld.exe. In order to work on this file, you can check out the file. And this is somewhat similar to the Git or Subversion workflow. Basically, Ghidra has a version tracking functionality built in. And in order to work on a file, you have to check it out. Now, there is a way to work on a file and you don't need to check it out, but that only provides you with read-only access. So let's go ahead and check the file out. There's two ways to check out a file. You can check it out regularly, or you can say you would want a exclusive checkout. The exclusive checkout means nobody else can check out the file while you have it checked out. We'll just proceed with a regular checkout. Once that is done, you can open the file, for example, in the code browser. Now let's assume we reverse engineer this file and we do some changes. For example, let's say we have a function that we want to rename. Let's rename this function right here. And let's submit this file. So we save the file, we close it, and we switch back to the project view. Now the star tells us that the file was changed locally. To submit these changes to the server, we'll use the check in function. Let's hit that. We can add a comment. and hit OK. Now at this point the changed version was submitted to the server and we can see that it, um, it was um, revised six times. So we had revision six out of six. That's pretty much the basic functionality of using the Gira server and um, yeah, you will find projects that have been pre prepared for all the groups uh, that have been taking part in the MCTI class this year. Happy reversing.